This album right here is NF's single most important album to date. The Search is a near perfect album and it's almost impossible to compare like some of NF's newer work to The Search because they are completely different. Hope is a completely different vibe compared to The Search. A lot of people who don't really listen to NF will say, oh, it's the same sort of sound as The Search. And that's a style. NF has a very specific style he likes to go for. He likes this very cinematic, very like dramatic sort of music and he raps over it to match the music, but like, that's just a style. Each song is almost different from each other. Just because you hear violins and dramatic bass hits doesn't make it the same song. It's the same sort of style, yes, but it's a different song completely, and it's unfair to say, oh, NF just makes the same song. It's literally stupid. Anyway, now that that's out the way, I can actually talk about this beautiful album right here. I got the white record, which you can't see because everything's fucking white. I was joking, I was joking. There we go, everything's fine. I'm gonna go hang it up. They hate me because they hate me! Okay, so NF starts the album off with Hope, and Hope is one of my favorite songs, like, ever. It's in my top five list of favorite songs. He's using the same formula as other intros, say, intro three, The Search, um, intro two, all the blah, 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 blah. He's using the same formula as all the other intros, but the difference is he's talking about hope. He starts the song off saying hope. For this, he's using the same formula as all the other intros and a lot of other songs, but he's singing hope at the very start. And I think this is a very distinct thing to actually pay attention to. He said the vibe of this album within the first like 10 seconds. I am extremely pleased with this album. Rather than be a dark, depressing deep dive into his life, He's actually talking from a more like healed standpoint. He's talking from a more uplifted standpoint. He is talking about dark issues, but he's talking about it in a more reflective, more honest, more like healed perspective. And that is absolutely amazing because you know, I, w I just went through therapy and um, I actually feel this album so much more. You have no idea. Although he's not trying to do this, I feel this album's gonna alienate a lot of older fans who are a fan of The Search, more of the relatable, dark, depressing stuff. But I think this is absolutely fine. I love this uplifting, um, healed NF. Like this is, his best work. He sounds beyond confident lyrically, vocally, and instrumentally. Like all of this just feels, he really knows what he's doing with this album. I've listened to this album back to front multiple times. And I gotta say, at first I was like kind of iffy if this felt like a album, you know? But the more I listen to it, the more I see the connections within the songs. A lot of this album feels very connected to each other where he references different songs from different tracks and like different lyrics from different tracks. Like it feels very connected the more I start to listen and the more I start to like fully appreciate this uh, project. The main focuses of this album is positivity and self-reflection. And that's why you hear a lot of like uplifting music like Mama, Mama's a beautiful track. And then it goes to Happy. But in the middle of those um, segments, like after those two tracks, there's usually like a hype song or a sort of song to where he's braggadocious. And he talks about his money, his wealth, his um, level as a creator and as an artist. The first time listening to this album, I felt the very hype tracks were very disruptive and interruptive of the very happy or like, more reflective tracks. Like you go from Mama, one of the most reflective tracks ever. He talks about his mother and how he's actually like forgiven her and how he actually hope she's happy and that like God has forgiven her. Uh, and then you go to happy to where he felt depressed all the time and speaking from personal experiences, when you're depressed all the time, you sort of like manifest that and you sort of like feel comfortable being depressed. And when you try to like, break out and become happy, you can't really think of that because you're scared of it. Like habits and familiarity are comfort. And so when people like me who lived with depression majority of their lives try and like change their outlook in life, it's very hard for us because we are leaving that comfort. We are leaving what we know behind and basically trying to change. Like even though the end product is a better sort of like self, it's hard to do that and you sort of like relapse into who you once were because that's what you're comfortable with. Happy is an another amazing track, but after Happy, you go to Pandemonium and Pandemonium is the most 
braggadocious most in his bag type of shit and i absolutely love it <laughs> like there's tiny breaks within the happiness and positivity to show his more bragging side and more like he's capable as a rapper which i really do appreciate at first i didn't really like vibe with the album i thought it was kind of like iffy and scattered but the more i listen to it i'm like i'm okay with this it's spread out enough to where it feels like one thing isn't overtaking the other i really have to do appreciate the smaller track list because this album feels more like a vision than a journey which i do appreciate it's very something excuse me it's something fresh and something different some of my favorite selections from the album have to be bullet has to be happy has to be hope definitely and if I were to slice one track off or give one criticism, maybe Motto can go. It's one of those songs to where I really loved Motto when it first came out, but as the album rolled out and I started listening to the full album, Motto became lower and lower on my list, which isn't a bad thing. This whole album I think is absolutely fire from the back. But like, Motto became lower and lower on the list of my favorites in the songs I'd replay. Personally, I feel as an NF fan, this album is an 8 out of 10 for me. Everyone has their own opinion and that's absolutely fine. Like, I'm not gonna get pressed because some person said NF's album is a 3 out of 10 or whatever like that. I really don't care. Like, musically, this album is amazing to me. And it's amazing to millions of other people. Like, what more do you need? You don't need to impress every single person in order to enjoy music. That's the beauty of music. Except if you listen to Falling in Reverse, you should die. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. How's it going, pups? It's a K9, and I'm out of here.